Piers Ward. And I'm Andy Proudman, and you've joined us here at Asbury Hall Golf Club, and today we're talking all about the hold. So we're answering a question from Gareth Marland, and this is on Facebook. Now, Gareth has asked us if we can give him a simple drill to help give him a better grip. Now, we're not sure whether you do an interlocking or an overlapping or a baseball grip, but what we're going to do is go through some key principles that we, you know, are going to help build that good grip for you. Now, Andy, we see all types of funky grips every day yep. at, the, at the academy, and some of them work. You know, they can be in a bad position, they can work, but we like to make sure that if we're going to change a grip, there's a reason for doing it. So we need to make sure that it is going to help the golf swing. But Andy, if you can just go through uh, one of the most common things that we see as Definitely. coaches. So I think one of the mistakes that people make when they sort of when they first start golf, they get told that they need to join the hands together. So they need to get told they interlock. Okay. Now this often leads to a poor grip, just for the fact that what happens is people then lock the hands with what we call a deep interlock, where they're sort of right in there, but also get the palms facing outwards. Okay, and this puts the left hand in a weak position and the right hand in what we call a strong position. Now that gets the hands pierced working against, against each, each other, other for sure. as opposed to working together, which yeah, is pretty important. Yeah. So this will limit power, consistency of the face, a number of other things. So we want to give you a simple drill to help get you in a neutral position with the hands. So from rather than going with the palms facing outwards, what we want to do is clap, clap, chop, chop. Okay, this gets the fingers pointing towards the ground the ground and we get your palms now facing each other. Now from here we want to join the hands last okay so we're going to place the hands on fingers towards the ground palms to palms facing each other then we take a hold on the golf club. Brilliant now. and if you can just hold there Andy for me so at the moment Andy's in a baseball position but if you wanted to go to overlap you could do yeah. that if you wanted to go to interlock you could do that yeah. and then back to baseball. Yeah, and it doesn't so, change the position of the hand. Not at all, not at all, not at all. The right hand means to flicker a little bit, but you know you can return it back straight away. So that is Definitely. for sure the easiest way to build that grip. Definitely. So hands now are in a neutral position. We often hear about the knuckles and the Vs, but if you go from the fingers down and the palms sort of facing each other, it's going to just help the consistency of it as opposed to going underneath the golf club there. Yeah. yeah absolutely. So there's one more checkpoint on the left hand we want to go through it through with you, Gareth, and that's just placing it in the correct place in the fingers. So what we want to see is, rather than just focus on the two knuckles, we want to make sure if I take a hold on the golf club with my left hand, the club should sit underneath the heel or the fleshy part of the hand, okay, and through the sort of knuckle of the forefinger here. Now, a great checkpoint for you, if I lift the club up, I should be able to hold the golf club in one finger, and you can see the club now resting underneath the fleshy part or the heel of that hand. Absolutely, pit. and that's a classic picture as well. If you look at Ben Hogan's uh, Modern Fundamentals, you'll see that he's, he very much believed in that position as well. Obviously, a lot of great coaches do as well. Definitely, and again, probably the most common thing is we see a lot of people in the palm there, Pierce, yeah. and that would be very, very it's difficult. Kind of, kind of like they want to hit like a hammer or something. So if you picked up a hammer, you would, you, you would work it that way, but this is quite different with a golf grip. Definitely. So, Gareth, hope that, hope that helps you there. Just remember from a clap, clap, chop, chop, Go from your hands pointing your fingers down to the ground, palms facing each other, and remember, join those fingers last, not first. It's going to help you with a much more neutral grip, and it's certainly going to help with the club face and creating a lot more power in your golf swing. So, Gareth, if you do this, this is going to help build you a more solid grip. Hope you enjoyed the video, and post your comments as normal, and we'll see you soon on Me and My Golf TV.